it's been a while that we filmed a chakra drop. So for today's video, I'm going to be going through Trend Mood 1's Instagram and telling you whether I will be shopping for the item or dropping it from my shopping list. Just some running commentary on the new makeup that's launching. I mean, what I say is never really set in stone. It always turns out... <laughs> I get things that I say I'm not gonna get. I don't get things that I say I'm gonna get, but running commentary, let's get into it. As I said before, I'm getting this from Tread Mood One's Instagram page, so I will have that link down below. Makeup today will all be linked in the description box. I actually filmed this for a beauty buff tutorial, so that's my YouTube exclusive membership. So if you want to join that, I'll have the link for that down below and you'll get the tutorial for this look and many other looks. Let's get going. So right here is what I'm starting with. We're gonna start off for what's been launched the last 12 days because I, to be quite frank, have not been paying attention because I've been focusing on the stuff that I do have, but this is available on Sephora. Armani launched these Luminous Silk Glow Blushes and a lot of you had told me how beautiful these are, how stunning the formula is. So naturally, based on your guys' recommendations, I bought it. I bought the shade Ecstasy, which is the cool baby pink right here. I couldn't be tamed. I wish I had gotten Dusty Rose as well, but that is en route to me. I picked it up on the last day of the Sephora sale, and I'm excited. I was definitely going to pick one up regardless, but you guys gave me that extra kick to pick it up quicker because you guys were telling me, Morgan, this is a really, really good blush, so I'm excited. It looks stunning. I mean, Armani has a beautiful product line, so I don't doubt that this isn't going to be stunning. It says it's a silky powder blush that's visibly smooth skin texture and delivers a soft, luminous natural flush of color. I mean, that sounds like what I want. So I'm very, very excited about this. So this one, if you couldn't guess already, shot in that one. Okay, this one I wanted to talk about. I was this close to picking up. So Tom Ford launched liquid lipsticks and they are $60 each, which I I almost got it just to do like a short, like I paid $60 for this liquid lipstick, but like also I decided to get back down to earth. I mean, Tom Ford can be hit or miss for me. Complexion is where it's worth it with them, but anything after that, I'm kind of like, eh. And that's how I feel about this. And I just feel like liquid lipsticks, 2014, you know what I mean? I don't really wear liquid lipsticks like that nowadays. I mean, I'm sure, I'm hoping this is a beautiful formula, but I don't know if I just could be convinced for $60. You guys would have to message me telling me how amazing and worth it it is to pick up. But I wasn't as inclined to spend $59 on a liquid lipstick. So this was a drop for me. It says it's long lasting, buildable, transfer resistant, cloud-like consistency. So that's interesting and visibly smoothing and blurring and only comes in 10 shades and honestly, other than like these two, the rest of the shades don't look like anything that I'd wear on a daily basis anyways because I'm always wearing some type of nude. So yeah, not picking those up. But I did, I did consider it for a second there, not gonna lie. Okay, so Shanta Kai has revealed their new collection. This is the, sorry, my hair, I need to stop messing with it. This is the Cosmos collection. Really, really cute. I love this packaging. So, ooh. I always love Shantikai. I always feel like they come out with beautiful products. And then I look at the price tags and I'm always taken aback. <laughs> like this real glow right here, $84. And this is real bronze. But I will say this formula is beautiful. But I'm going to wait for a sale if I were to ever pick this up. And then their lipsticks are also a stunning formula. But they're also $52. I just haven't been inclined to spend that kind of money up front. I feel like a raindrop just hit me, but I'm inside. But this packaging, oh, stunning. And this formula really is blurring, but actually this is a highlight though. This is a, um, it gives like a shimmery effect, but just based on their gel formulations, it's going to be stunning, I know it. Even though Shantikai is very expensive, gotta give them credit where credit is due. They certainly create a luxurious product. And the shades in this collection look beautiful. I love the nudie pink lipstick, the more beigey lipstick, the bronze, the highlight. It looks stunning. I'm going to say drop. 
because I never end up picking Chanticleer. It hurts me too much at checkout. I'll put their stuff in my basket, but I can never pull the trigger. So realistically, dropping, but it's like, I think their stuff is gorgeous. So now I'm a Glossier girl. Glossier was a brand that I wrote off. I just wasn't that interested. Their aesthetic wasn't my aesthetic when it came to makeup originally, but I love Glossier. So these became available on April 25th. These are another liquid lipstick. I think liquid lipsticks might be coming back, but it has this cute pink tube with a peekaboo window, doe foot applicator, nine shades. I'm sure the shades are gorgeous. I can definitely see myself picking this up eventually. Definitely not worth a dedicated review on my end. I'm not that into Glossier, but I definitely see myself picking this up in the future. If I ever go into Sephora, I might pick up a shade. So I will have tried this in the future. So I'm not, I don't know, is it a shopper drop? It's not on the shopping list right now. So for that reason, I'm going to say drop, but don't see, be surprised if you see it eventually in a full makeup, <laughs> full face and makeup review because this is something I would be interested in trying, but I am not running out to purchase. No, I don't need it. I'm not as into liquid lipsticks, but I, I, drop. Stop it, Morgan, stop it. Stop it. Get some help. I see it's like not super expensive though. They're not inexpensive, but they're not super expensive and I like Glossier now, but I don't need this. These look stunning. I really haven't dove into YSL Beauty too much, especially with their eyeshadows. But if you know me, you know my eye is going right up to this one right here. So these are eyeshadow quads. I don't know if they're available yet. There is no information on it right now on the Trend Mood page. I kind of want to try one. I don't know anything about the prices though, but the packaging looks gorgeous. Like, look at this. I also am attracted to this one, but if I were to end up with one knowing luxury formulas, I feel like nobody does a cool tone neutral like this better than a luxury brand. The way that their glimmers are so micro fine, they look gorgeous on the eyelids typically. So for me, this would be the one I would pick up. I think it's Stora dolls, but I could be incorrect about that. Honestly, I'm tempted to say shop. I'm not sure that that's actually going to happen, but the luxury makeup lover in me is very, very curious. I don't know if you've noticed, I've kind of stepped a little bit away from luxury and have started trying more affordable brands, but yeah, I'm a luxury lover at heart. It just, it's very expensive, <laughs> but I'm actually very, very curious. So I'm going to say shop on that. I I want to try that. That looks beautiful. I don't know though. The price could turn me off because these are like the Couture Clutch palettes, which normally are out of my price range for what I'm comfortable with spending. But I'll spend 90 If it's under $90, okay, we'll do that. $90 for a Tom Ford quad. I'll spend $90 for this YSL quad. It's beautiful. Shop. Okay. Also, I got some requests to talk about this. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder, or palette, excuse me, in Diffused Rose. I've been told that there are a couple new formulations that they're messing around with. It's available right now, I believe. I th and I think shop, question mark. I love Hourglass, you guys know this. I purchased all of their palettes. And now that you guys have told me this is a new formulation, I definitely want to try it, but I'm also being reserved. I didn't pick it up when it first launched, but I'm kind of regretting that decision. So I do think I want to shop it because I do love Hourglass so much and I'm talking myself into it right now. I mean, it doesn't necessarily look like so beautiful or unique right now, <laughs> but it also like, I'm having FOMO, you know? You guys told me you wanted me, me to try. Okay, this will be the deciding factor. If you want me to review this, comment down below. All it's gonna take is one comment and I will purchase it. <laughs> so for that, I'm probably gonna say shop, but I'm excited about this. I love these ambient palettes from Hourglass. I think they are very unique. You really can't replicate the finish with more affordable items. I don't need this because I have all of the six panners that launch every holiday season from them, but I want it. Side note, have you seen the Charlotte Tilbury makeup bag? I think that this is so cool. I wonder how fat it is. This has to be a big fat makeup bag. I believe it was available with um, 
as a gift with purchase, but you can also pick it up for $45. Love the sections of this. Very neat. It's a drop. I mean, it's a makeup bag. It's not really anything super exciting worth talking about, but I love the design of that. Ooh, so this was an exciting one that I wanted to talk about. The Hygen Hybrid Concealer from, or High Glam, sorry, High Glam Concealer from Natasha Denona. I believe it will be available on the 28th shop. I'm excited. I've said in previous videos that I really wanted Natasha Denona to kind of rebrand and redo the complexion line that she has because not a lot of people talk about it. Everybody knows her for her eyeshadows, but I really think there's an open opportunity for her to really get into complexion. And I think this might be the start of it. Her previous concealer, I'm gonna be honest, it was one of the worst <laughs> concealers that I've ever tried. But I am all for a good redemption story. And I'm hoping that's what this concealer is going to be. She also is launching color correctors as well. There's a lot of shades, 56. It's supposed to like give like an airbrush result, natural, weightless. It's coming to Sephora. The shade range looked confusing. I'm not sure what shade I would go for when purchasing this, but I'm gonna have to figure out because I'm ordering very, very soon. I'm just excited. And it's supposed to have active ingredients that are supposed to brighten dark circles and reduce puffiness over time. I don't know, kind of neat. Reduce the appearance of lines and wrinkles and all of that. I'm super duper excited about that. So this was like one of the driving factors to creating today's Shopper Drop because this is exciting to me. I said it before, I'm saying it again. Shop. Mm. If there's one brand I'm weak for, it's Gucci Beauty. So this is available now in Canada and it's a illuminator, a liquid highlighter. It looks interesting because it, it, it looks like a serum almost. Hmm. It's a liquid face highlighter. Um, let's see. Creates a natural, radiant, healthy looking glow. I don't, interesting. I don't know. Is it supposed to go all over the skin? It's supposed to provide all day soothing and hydration. So I'd imagine this goes everywhere and it's supposed to be a glowy base underneath. Ooh, I am all for products like that. This is a shop for me. Again, super weak here for Gucci Beauty. You can see the glow on the skin here. They're advertising it for a wide range of complexions and if it's very, very sheer, I think it might be possible. I'll be interested to see because it looks like all of the models, like only she is the close to my skin tone. Shop, I'm really, really, really interested in this product. It looks like a serum -y, glowy primer. So they're calling it a liquid face highlighter, but we'll see what that's all about. I definitely want to investigate this. NARS, my love NARS, is coming out with these Afterglow liquid blushes. So this is supposed to be a lightweight skincare infused liquid blush. It's supposed to be natural with a biddable transfer resistant. I mean, these are all, you know, marketing words right here that all of these guys are throwing around. Eight hours of hydration, blah, 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 blah. $32 each will be available May 16th, just two days after my birthday. And I can already tell you I'm picking up the shade Orgasm. And then, and then maybe Dolce Vita, which is a dusty rose. But this one right here, Wonderlust, is um, a soft lilac. Looks interesting. But the way that they've done the photography and like the marketing photos here is they almost look like lip glosses to me. So I'll be interested to see if it's like a gel formulation, if it truly has a lot of pigment. Ooh, see, I've been attracted to these shades lately, but like I always love a good mauve pinky like this. I mean, these are a shop. I'm excited about these. I love a liquid blush. I really, really do. Cream, what is it? Cream bronzer and a liquid blush. Mmm. Makes the cheek look so juicy, even though I am a powder girl at the end of the day. I am very, very curious about this formulation. I feel like this shade would look terrible on me, but I still want to know. I'm very curious. Oh, these look gorgeous. Definitely shopping this one. I'm excited about this launch. And NARS normally does a good job, so... My expectations are high, NARS. Don't let me down. This is the new ColourPop collection, the Lavender collection. So, I'm not buying this. I don't buy ColourPop because I am definitely super saturated. They do send me PR. I don't even know if I'll receive this because they haven't updated my address that I've requested them to. So, it's going to go to whoever lives in my apartment now. But this is available April 27th, which is today, the day that I'm filming this. The reason I'm even talking about this collection is because, you know, I'm very 
very attracted to this collection. It's a lavender collection. Come on, this is right up my alley. I think it is so beautiful. And I think, I can't answer this confidently, but I think if I didn't do what I did, I might have to pick up this palette, right? So I do get this in PR. I'm oversaturated with ColourPop in my collection, so I personally won't be buying it. However, oh, definitely don't buy the So Glassy lip glosses. They always come out with those. Wouldn't pick that up. Would potentially pick up these beautiful, super sharp shadows. Oh, like that all over the lid. I'm saying drop because I'm not picking it up. But if I were in a different position in life, this would be a collection that definitely would turn my head, break my neck, because I think it looks gorgeous. So I saw this, this was interesting. They have a bunch of influencers on a trip right now. So this is the Shape Tape Radiant Concealer, and I can guarantee you at some point I will be trying this. So this is a shop. It is a medium coverage formula that feels feather light. I'm interested to see how this formula differs from the creamy shape tape that I actually used today. That inspired me, like knowing that this was launching inspired me to use that. It's supposed to plump the appearance of skin and hydrate and moisturize. It looks really interesting. I love that they're using a model with more mature skin to model it. Kind of tells you how it's going to be lightweight and hydrating on the under eyes. So this is a shot for me. I'm down. Like, look, look at this. Love the different skin types that they're showing in here. I'm excited for this. You know, shape tape is was such a big deal at one point. I don't think the creamy shape tape did as well, but I'm super excited about this. I, I hope it's really good. It looks like a lot of you guys might be interested in something like this. And then the very last item that I wanted to talk about, since I'm more interested in drugstore nowadays, Essence is launching these Got Bronze bronzing sticks. I'm not like running to pick these up, but this is going to be a shop. Like if I ever place an order on Ulta, I want to pick these up. So these are a bronzing stick that is affordable, only $4.99. I think that this could potentially make for really great dupes. I think the undertones look weird. Like this looks purple and then this looks green. So this kind of looks orange. So I don't know about that. <laughs> Hopefully they look better in person, but I think Essence is one of those brands that's just incredible for being able to provide cosmetics at the price that they do. And they can be hit or miss, but when they hit it, it is such a find. You know, it's a find that I'm excited to share about with you because it's so affordable. So that's why I want to test this out to see if it's going to be worth it. If I can find you a dirt cheap cream bronzer, I hope that I can. So this is a shop curiosity has got me with this one hi it's next day morgan um since i filmed that a very interesting one has been revealed from huda beauty it's the lip blush lip and cheek stain first of all i hate it when they do the lip and cheek combination because 99 percent of the time i'm not gonna like it on the lips but these are going to be available may 9th and they're supposed to be hydrating kiss proof and eight hour wear the way that they're looking almost looks like i might prefer them on the lips uh they look like the new rare beauty lip that just launched where it starts off really like wet and oily on top and then it leaves a stain underneath very k-beauty-esque so what i am definitely interested with seeing this if is if it's better on the cheek or the lips because the formula looks interesting i'm not sure which way it would go uh but i'm a, i'm shopping this i love huda beauty's items I think they do a really great job. So this is an exciting one that I'm interested in and, and it leaves me with some curiosity that I need to answer. And so that's all I have for today's Shopper Drop. Honestly, some little bits and bobs here that I find very interesting. No new, exciting, major collections, but the brands are coming out with things that I am very interested in and am excited to review. So let me know down below what items do you want to see me review. That kind of helps me decide what I actually am going to spend my money on. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. This probably bothered you the whole video. I am so sorry. <laughs> Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one. Thank <laughs> you.
Thank <laughs> you.